Okay, people. So what's on the menu for today? Here we go. So there's some things that at this point in my life, I still don't understand. One of the things I don't understand is the nature of white people when it comes to animals. Animals and nature. Spending time with nature. This is a thing that white people tend to enjoy and look forward to spending time with nature. And spending time with nature often involves encounters and interactions with wildlife. That rarely works out well. Case in point. 16 year old girl camping with her family in the Smoky Mountains was sleeping in a hammock near her family when she was attacked by a black bear. Park officials said the victim suffered multiple injuries, as is to be expected when you are attacked by a black bear. Lacerations to the head, but she did remain conscious throughout the incident. Oh, I'm sure that was fun. Her condition was described as stable. That's her physical condition. Her mental condition is, what the f is wrong with you? Now, two bears were seen in the area after the attack, officials say, including one larger male that repeatedly tried to enter the area despite attempts to scare it off. Why? Let me explain something to you, people. The woods and the forest and the Smoky Mountains belongs to the fucking bears. They were there first. So he was literally trying to go home as you were trying to fend him off from where he belongs. Let me proceed. The family had been on a two night backpacking trip in the Smokies when the incident occurred. Officials say other family members were sleeping close to the girl's hammock when the attack happened and all backpacks and food had been properly stored. They said, while serious incidents with bears are rare, we remind visitors to remain vigilant while in the back country and to follow all precautions while hiking in bear country. Let me just break down that sentence real quick. Follow all precautions while hiking in bear country. Here's a precaution for you. Don't fucking hike in bear country, okay? Because if you're hiking in bear country, guess what has a very high probability of happening? You may get attacked by a bear. Officials remind hikers to take necessary precautions while in bear country. Hiking groups of three or more, carry bear spray, comply with all backcountry closures, properly follow food storage regulations, remain at a safe viewing distance from bears at all times. Okay, let me address those precautions. Jesus Christ, white people. Oh, here's a precaution for you. Stay the f out of bear country. You know what's a safe viewing distance for watching bears? From my couch to my television. That's a safe viewing distance. You know what's a safe viewing distance for watching bears? From an uh, observation deck overlooking the bear enclosure at the park. The zoo, rather. There you go. Fucking precautions for when hiking in bear country. Hey, stay out of bear country. Nothing good happens when humans go into bear country. Okay? Now, I hope this young lady recovers. I hope that she has learned a valuable lesson. And I hope that this white family has learned a valuable lesson because the other detail is that they had to fight off this bear that kept coming back to attack more for four hours. They fought this bear for four hours, making noise, throwing rocks, and yelling. Or, 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 or you know, like, what the fuck? Four hours? They did this for four hours. So you mean to tell me that you were so deep in the woods that it took four hours before the park rangers could get there to where you were and kill the bear? I swear, people, I swear, I swear, oh my God. 
white people, I swear, between voting for Trump, climbing the wall at the Capitol, and fucking with bears. I will never understand y'all.